things I kind of omitted in the previous videos is about how do we actually draw to scale in ARCHICAD. And um, I'm just opening up my ground floor 1 to 50 again. And by the way, if you kind of lost your project on that big canvas because you've been zooming out or in, there's a tiny little button down here that kind of um, magnifying glass with the four arrows in it. Just click on it and it will automatically fit all the content that's available on that floor within that view set and will zoom in on all of them. So yes, here we have our floor plan and of course most of the times you're not actually um, retracing an existing floor plan but you're actually creating one for yourself and although we are here in the 1 to 50 um, scale that we have set up in our just as a reminder in our um, view map again in these settings we can see the settings down here that are assigned to the ground floor that we've named 1 to 50 and it's also visible here in uh, in a scale in that lower navigation bar. By the way, if we were to change that for some reason, let's say we want to have 1 to 100, um, it's not going to change over here, but that kind of um, exclamation mark, that um, street sign is popping up, telling us that there's a discrepancy between the settings that you have um, in your on your view in your canvas and the settings that are assigned to that actual floor. That's really really helpful and that kind of um, information would flag up with all the types of settings whether that's layers or scale or um, pen settings or anything and if you were now going into that um, settings um, menu again you actually have the chance up here the button says get current windows settings so if you were happy with those changes because you've made them for a certain reason you can just click on here I'll just do that now and it will take all that information all those changes and assign it into in these menus without you having to change them manually and then you can just click OK and it would you know save all these settings so that's really really helpful um, as a way to find the proper settings as well, um, rather than just going through all these menus. It might be a bit too abstract. But yeah, I'm happy with what, how it used to be, the 1 to 50. I'll just leave that as it is. Um, not going to save it. And by the way as well, that kind of prefix, um, that numbering of the stories, I always leave them as they are because that helps me to identify the parent floor um, of that specific story or floor. I find that really, really helpful. So yes, drawing to scale. That's one of the beauties of, of cat drawing. You are always drawing with actual measurements. So if I want, let's say I have a tiny, maybe that house has a tiny, tiny little garage, um, which is, well, I'll just quickly, um, change that orientation again. It's one of the things that I need to set up properly. We'll do that next time. So yeah, let's assume that that house has a tiny, tiny little garage that is six meter long. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just start, what I'll do is I'll just start drawing that wall and then click the button R so it it enters in that kind of window where the distance is popping up and I can change that value 6 meters, 600 centimeters, pressing enter and there it is, there's my wall that's exactly 6 meter. I'm also gonna move it around to that side. Now if that's a, a garage I would assume it's um, a rectangular size um, nothing extraordinary so I'm just going into right clicking going into um, move and again having that drag a copy which is alt command and D um, what I can do is now click on either of these um, lines and I can click move it press shift again 
r again and define the distance that I want to move in. So what would be reasonable numbers? Maybe 450 centimeters, 4.5 meters. That sounds, that sounds all right. Pressing enter, there it is, duplicated. Now, if we are measuring that in between, um, of course, I went from that line to that line. So it's always the outside facing. So if you were measuring that in between, uh, pressing M, measuring in between, so it's 415 because that is 450. Let's assume we wanted to copy um, that wall so that it is 450 in between the two walls. So of course I could just move it, um, you know, command D, move it like this. Now, now it's all sorted, but we can do that in one step as well. Again, right clicking, move, drag and copy. And then I'm taking that one, moving it to the outside. It already has 35. Clicking either um, tab or R and adding, um, oh no, now I did it wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. 35, um, we have 450 plus. So without, I'll just, show, I'll just show that again. Selecting the wall, move, drag a copy, grabbing it from the outside to the inside. So the distance is already set to 35. Um, I'm pushing tab and now adding the 450 that I want and the plus sign. It doesn't show up because it automatically calculates it. It adds the 35 that have already been there and I'm pressing enter. And now we can measure again. It is 450 in between. Really nice. That's what we wanted. Um, happy now. Adding these. Yeah, let's assume that's what my garage is looking like. Not very difficult to draw that, but yeah, that's a good um, a good way to practice now. Um, yeah, so when you are drawing, you are always using the one-to-one -one measurements, the actual measurements as they are in real life. And you're drawing them as if it's real life. And it's the, the, the scale on the bottom here and in your setups that do the calculation. So again, when you go um, into one of these um, layouts, that is where the translation from the real measurements to the scale is happening. And as you probably know, um, within architecture, when we have measurements um, or like dimensions, that we are added onto here. I'm just adding them quickly. We will go through that tool um, later on. It will say 600. Yes, because it is 600 centimeters. Those measurements are always the actual measurements. It's not the measurement of how many centimeters it will be on the plan in the scale down version. No, it's the real measurements. So yes, very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. And of course, if we have these like kind of um, simple, easy um, shapes like a rectangle. Um, I don't have to draw these wall, four walls individually. Um, there's actually a tiny menu here, which for some reason just doesn't work in my ARCHICAD version. I'm always struggling um, to open that drop down menu. This, there must be a little bug in my, uh, in my program. But nonetheless, you can you can try it yourself. If you press on here, there's different drawing um, methods or techniques. So one of them, as you can see here, is a single wall. Um, there's another version where you can select um, a rectangular, so you will be able to draw that in one with like one point, second point. Um, and there's also a consecutive wall. So rather than drawing that wall having to pick it up again, having to pick it up again. You can actually draw the wall like this and your tool will stay on. You'll draw the next one, the next one, the next one. But yeah, for some reason, I don't know why, just doesn't work, um, doesn't pop up for me, unfortunately. 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. A bit annoying. But yes, always drawing with the actual measurements. That's a key thing to learn. And um, using these, um, that little window. Again, pressing, um, push R or tab at the value two meters. And right away, pressing tab again, it will jump to the next layer, um, like to the next line on that little window and you can change the, the angle as well. Let's assume it's 40 degrees. Bang, there it is. So yes, you should, if you know, sometimes obviously you might not know the actual measurements, but if you know the measurements, always use the actual numbers. Don't just rely on um, like saying, okay, I want to have four meters. Don't, don't go and search for the four meters. It's, first of all, it's really annoying. Um, it takes quite a, a time and the actual measurements you, you saw it said four meter and two centimeters if you were then going to measure it oh no of course not it won't show up but it might be rounding up or down so it might not be exactly 4.2 so please make sure that you input it manually